There was a point in my life where I was living away from home. I was in New England. I was actually serving a mission for the LDS Church, and it was really hard. And the people I were I was with weren't really nice to me, and life got really brutal. And even when it was to the point where when I was praying, they would mock me, and they would be like, "Oh, he's praying again." And I was just praying, asking God for help to get through the day. And after going through this for over a month, it was it was so hard. And I just remember there was one day where I was I was so angry with them. Like, why are you treating me like this? Why is all this going on? And they told me I didn't have a testimony. They told me, and that that hurt because to be told that I don't know who Jesus Christ is is something that is. It's hard to hear someone tell you that because that's the center of who I am. So I believe in Jesus Christ and everything I try to do is to follow him. And I remember I went into the room and I locked the door and I knelt down and just started praying. And I'm just like, I'm so angry with them right now. And I'm so mad and they're hurting me and they're doing all these things. And I remember opening up the scriptures and the first thing I saw was the word repentance. I'm like, no, 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 I'm supposed to find the word forgiveness. I'm supposed to find the strength in the scriptures to forgive them of what they've done to me. And as I started to think, I realized that I had played a role in the situation and that I had done things that wasn't right. And I remember reading these verses and it brought peace to my soul. It says, and now my son, I desire that you should let these things trouble you no more and only let your sins trouble you with the trouble which shall bring you down to repentance. O oh, my son, I desire that ye should deny the justice of God no more. Do not endeavor to excuse yourself in the least point because of your sins. By denying the justice of God, but do let the justice of God and his mercy and his long suffering have full sway in your heart and let it bring you down to the dust and humility. And at that point I realized that's what had happened. And I continue to read, and it says, And now, O my son, ye are called of God to preach the word unto this people. And now, my son, go thy way, and declare the word with truth and soberness, that thou mayst bring souls unto repentance, that the great plan of mercy may have claim upon them, and may God grant unto you, even according to my words. Amen. And I remember getting off my knees, and oh, to the other room when we were able to make amends and I told them I was sorry for the part I played in it and they had confessed they did confess and they said they were sorry for the part they played in it and from that moment on we were able to to be friends not just be friends but we were able to do what that last verse said and we were able to share the gospel with people and to see people come unto Christ and to see them to, to believe in him to see the power of his life and his grace and repentance in their life it was amazing and all of it came from receiving an answer from the Book of Mormon that it wasn't that I needed to forgive others but that I needed to repent myself and when when things are going bad in our life you know we often are told it'll get better but uh, that doesn't mean it'll get better right away you know sometimes you have to wade through a lot of pain and fear and sorrow and uh, but if you can find hope, something to hope for every day, just, just try to find something to hope for.